Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Anthony Nunez on the line, and he's a broker over at United Realty Reps. Anthony, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Adam. So I'm excited to get more into what you're doing in real estate, um, but before we do that, let's get a little bit further into your background. So how did you get started in your career and in business? So actually, I, I got started um, in my career probably in 2008, which we all know it was a rough year for the economy, I became a teacher. And as a teacher, I slowly uh, started off teaching history classes, and eventually I got the opportunity to teach a business class. And I thought that the business class was great because a lot of youth in the inner city, they struggle to find mentors. And they might have a lot of ideas, but they, they, don't, they don't know how to do the business moves, and they need people to reach out to them to kind of guide their ideas and give them a a stronger foundation in business. Now, from there, at some point, when I finally had enough money, I purchased my first property. And my dad was always a, he was a super his whole life. And I said, you know what, this is going to be a great business because I can buy the property. My father can help me fix it. And we'll just buy and flip. But in the process, my father passed away. So I was like, oh, man, what, I'm, I'm here with a property, and I'm stuck with this property. I kind of know how to do some fixes, but I'm not. this is not really my area. This was supposed to be a teamwork thing, and it, and it didn't work out that way. So I said, but I'm good with numbers, and I can get into the sales side. So I, I stuck with it. You know, the first year or two it was pretty challenging, and then it just kept the business kept growing. And people would hear, you know, people knew about me, they knew my num, that I knew my numbers, and they was like, you know what? They just kept coming to me. So I, I, my sales have been increasing every year uh, since I got started. But I went from flipping to staying with the sales side and buying hold. That's more where I'm at right now. And I, Man, I'm mainly awesome. in the Bronx, Bronx and Westchester area of New York. That's awesome. So. Anthony, you know, I I love that you bring up mentorship, and that's something that we don't talk about enough, in my opinion. And, you know, there's some younger entrepreneurs right now that are a little bit further behind than you. Maybe they're just getting started. Um, Can you talk a little bit more about the importance of mentorship and what that can mean in in their life? Because I know you teach a business class, too, um, so I want to get a little bit further into that. Yeah, you know, I think that a lot of the, especially the entrepreneurs that you have on your show, these guys would be great to give back and reach out to a, a younger entrepreneur or even a high school class, just go out and, and interact with them and talk to them about business. And I think that doing good is good business. So, you know, they they can go out there and, and really change lives. Even in myself, I get to certain problems that I need the next level person to guide me through this problem. To them, it's an easy solution. But when you're going through challenges, however small they may be for the first time, it really helps to have guidance from seasoned entrepreneurs. That's awesome. Um, Let's switch it up a bit. I want to get into what you're doing over at United Realty Reps. So uh, first, tell me a little bit more about about what you're doing in real estate. Well, I'm currently specializing in residential sales. So I do uh, co-ops, condos, single-family homes, and multifamily homes. My biggest clientele is first time home buyers. So I get a lot of clients who are looking for uh or need someone to guide them through the process of buying a home and I think that my background in education blends nicely because I can coach them through the process relatively easily. So it it's it's a natural transition for me. What uh what areas do you specialize in in terms of geography? I'm mainly in the Bronx and Westchester. Uh, lately, I've been I've been doing a lot of deals in the Bronx. The Bronx is booming at the moment. 
Uh, in terms of the five boroughs of New York City, we're probably seeing the most money getting pumped into the Bronx. And that's benefited my business greatly because a lot of investors, a lot of first-time home buyers saying, listen, I want to get in before the prices get out of range. Some people even think they might be getting out of range now, but they, they want to get in, they want to own, they want to be a part of this movement. That's awesome. Um, any other kind of trends that you're noticing in that area, whether it's multifamily, anything else you care to comment on just in general? I think that part of the success in the Bronx has to do with the local politicians looking to the Bronx and seeing how they can enhance the Bronx with public works. So we have the ferry system expanding to the Bronx. We have the Metro North expanding in the Bronx. And anytime the government mm. works to enhance the areas, it makes it a natural place for people to want to stay in, buy, or invest in. So I think that the, the teamwork between the local politicians and the business community is part of the reason why the Bronx is booming at the moment. Oh, wow. That makes a lot of sense. Whenever there's any type of public works or anything like that, um, I get it. Uh, so you said that you, uh, you work a lot with, uh, first time home buyers. Um, any other type of, uh, any other type of clients you, you, you work with just so that if there's somebody listening to this right now and they're in those areas or looking at those areas and they're, um, and they're, con and they're thinking about, um, purchasing some property or selling property, um, so they know if they're the right type of uh, client to call you to, uh, about doing business. Right. I get a lot of investors as well, like like investors that want to make sure that the profit margins are good. And a lot of them are priced out of Manhattan or Brooklyn or Queens. And they say, well, the Bronx still has some attractive figures. So the, the investors will come in and they'll try to do like a, a fix and rent. So they'll, they'll find a place that needs a lot of work. It might scare off some initial clients, but they're willing to do the work and rent it out and it becomes a nice profitable business for these investors. That's awesome. Um, so, Anthony, what's the best route for someone to, if they, if they fit in one of those categories, if they want to learn more about your business and connect with you, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? Well, there's two routes they can get a hold of me. If they want, they could do a simple YouTube search, put Anthony Nunez Real Estate, and I'll pop up. Or they can find me on Instagram at AMN Businesses. And they'll find me in either one of those two. That's awesome. Well, Andy, really appreciate you coming on the show today and share more about your background and also all the great work you're doing as uh, over at uh, United Realty Reps as a broker. So great stuff there. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store, do all those great things we do to uh, support our podcasters. I really do appreciate it. And, Anthony, thanks again for coming on the show.